What's up, Shark fans? Welcome back to another year of Sharks Weekly. I'm Curtis Vaughan. My name is Sebastian Bobel. I'm Bradley Carter. And we all represent the men's soccer team. Let's get started with tennis. <laughs> the tennis team opened with a strong performance at the ITA South Region Championships in Lakeland last week. NSU not only produced a four-day single record of 13-6 and 4-2 in doubles, but senior Anna Navas finished as runner-up in the singles final with a 5-1 record. Navas also joined Daniela Obando in reaching the doubles quarter final. At just 17 years old, women's tennis freshman Natalie Espinel debuted on fire for the Sharks, winning four straight matches in the to reach the singles semi-final before falling to the eventual tournament champion. Cross country. Coming off credit student Caitlin Compo School record uh, 5K in a first career race for NSU women's cross country. The men's and women's squad head to Orlando this Saturday for one of the biggest country, uh, cross divisional races of the year at the Disney Cross Country Classic at the Wild World of Sports. Men's Golf. The fifth ranked men's golf team opened up its full season with an impressive runner-up finish at the Griffin Invitational last weekend. JJ Guerra earned his third career win in the process following a final round 65 and was later honored as the Sunshine State Conference men's golf of the week. Next up is women's golf. The third ranked women's golf team <laughs> Meanwhile, got its season underway this week at the Jacksonville Classic, led by senior All-American Sophie Madden. The Sharks won the tournament championship in a field heavily dominated by NCAA Division I programs. Following last year's impressive run, head coach Heather Wall's team has now won eight of its last ten tournaments. Both the men and women will host the annual Shark Invitational at PGA National beginning next Monday in Palm Beach Gardens. Volleyball. Denver Tyler Palmer become the new program leader in all-time kills this Friday evening as the Sharks volleyball team defeat the St. Leo Lions 3-1. Needing just three entering the match, the senior outside hits a record of nine in route to pass the 25-year-old record. The Sharks will host two games this week, welcoming Palm Beach Atlantic on Tuesday evening and Eckerd on Saturday afternoon. Also on Saturday, the Nova Southeastern volleyball program will be honouring its alumni and the 10-year anniversary of the South Region Championship squad. Uh, men's soccer stayed red hot this week with wins over previously ranked Florida Tech on the road before beating Rollins 3-1 at home this past Saturday. Goals from him. The pair of victories has run the Sharks current win streak to eight games, a new program record. Stefan, vice to Noah, was named the SSC Defensive Player of the Week for the second time in his career on Monday. As of this afternoon, the team entered the nation's top 25 at number 18. NSU will continue SSC play on Wednesday at Barry, followed by another road test at 8th ranked Florida Southern this Saturday. We will also continue to control the ground. The NSU women's soccer team ran its win streak to four games following a 3-1 win over defending SSC tournament champion Florida Tech last Wednesday. The streak would be snapped on Saturday at Rollins, yet the Sharks have a chance to make a move in the stand-ins this week with key matchups at home Wednesday against Barry and Saturday against Florida Southern. All fans are encouraged to wear neon on Wednesday and cupcakes will be given out. On Saturday's match, the first 150 students will receive a free tea. Rowing opens up its fall schedule this weekend in Orlando with exhibition at UCF, giving the Sharks a chance to test the lineups before heading to next week's head of the Indian Greek regatta in Miami Beach. That's it for the week, fellows. Ciao! Gaffer's on the phone, Brad. Hello? Mm. Boys, it's just time to get another win tomorrow night. Yeah. 6 p.m., we need your support. Be there. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, <wait>. <laughs> <laughs>